Kai gan gan. Gan gan siya botse. The koi koi story and history has not been told yet by its people. Don't you hear what it says? His story. His story. Now it's time for my story, Koi Koi. Koi Koi is going to speak now. And all them, his story and his story and his story, all their stories is finished because they made, he made his story so that it can keep me down. And everything that he write down and, 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 and record is was in his liking the way he wanted it to be for the future for his people and was shunting slowly mashing the koi and bringing the koi down further and further you see in 2004 I made this garden to keep me busy and because I didn't want to work for bosses anymore and um, so I wanted to be my own boss. <laughs> so being a being a herbalist, um, um, I'm needed um, not just by my chief because I had to get him out of bed when he was sick and with my medicines. Very very very, very soft leaf, and um, he's also got he's also got as you can see he's also got the juice the juice that comes out of it. And um, these are, if you got around the mouth, around the mouth here, if you got the sores in the corner of the mouth, then this stuff is always good. So uh, me being a herbalist, the chief needs me. When he's not around and people come and see me, I represent him. I mention his name from start to finish because we've got a chief you've got to recognize. We have a chief. No one can come here and claim land here. We have a chief. It's called Rana Royal House. He's a paramount chief. He's a paramount chief. So, where's the respect in our aboriginality that we're getting from these people who has come and live and eat the koi's food and drink the koi's water and eat the koi's meat? You see? So, so, so everybody needs me. My community needs me. You see? The mountain that sleeps. Mm-hmm.